How much shaft lean should we use when we're playing our chip shots? And what effect does it have on the shot we're trying to play? This is quite a confusing area of the short game and it can really have a big effect on the shot. So today's video, I'm gonna clear up the effect of shaft lean and how you might use it to your advantage to become better at chipping. Hi guys, welcome to Shakespeare Short Game Secrets. Thanks for tuning in. And I just want to start by saying a big thank you to all my regular viewers and subscribers. So I've reached that landmark now of 500 subscribers. And to celebrate that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give something back. I'm going to give a free golf lesson, a free online lesson. So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. And then later in the video, I'm going to reveal the other thing you need to do in order to be in with a chance to win that prize. So to today's video, today we're talking about shaft lean. So shaft lean has a big effect on our chip shots, but you'll actually see a few guys on tour have very different styles. So probably your main two extremes of the spectrum are someone like Phil Mickelson. So Phil Mickelson is a player who will have his hands really far forward at address and you can see there's a lot of forward shaft lean there. Obviously he's gonna be the other way around because he's left-handed, but the principle is exactly the same. So if we compare Phil to someone like Luke Donald, who's got a much more neutral setup, you're gonna see that his hands are much more above the club and there's very little shaft lean there. The shaft's in a much more neutral position. So arguably they're both two excellent players around the green, but they have very different styles in terms of their shaft lean. How does this shaft lean have an effect on the shot we're trying to play around the greens? So let's start with Phil. So Phil is someone, like I said, who's got his hands really far forward at address. So ultimately, what this is doing is that it's reducing the loft on the club. So by reducing the loft, he's going to make that ball fly in lower. So as you can see, I'm going to really push my hands forward. And when I do that, you see I've got that nice strike and I've got that ball flying out really low. So if we compare that to Luke Donald, where his shaft leans much more neutral, if I play a similar sort of shot, this ball's certainly gonna take off a bit higher. So with my 58 degree wedge there, I've totally changed the flight of those two shots just by changing the shaft lane. So which is the right one to use? Well, the answer is either or. So there'll be some cases where we need to send it in lower, where it runs a bit, so we might be running it up a bank. And there'll be other cases where we need to send it in a bit higher and stop it really quickly. So you might be trying to land it on top of that plateau and stop it quick. So. The reason why these guys are so good around the greens is they have this versatility that they can hit all these different flighted shots with different spin rates. So one thing I would say about leaning your shaft really far forward is that it's gonna get, encourage that leading edge to dig in more. So the tariff of the shot certainly becomes harder. So the more we keep that shaft in a more neutral position, we're gonna encourage more use of the bounce and our margin for error is going to be greater. So there's going to be a trade-off here between how much we lean the shaft for the shot we need and how effective the strike's going to be. Just to give you another perspective on how you can use shaft lean to your advantage, I'm going to show you a shot now with negative shaft lean. So it's probably a shot you've not seen before, but it's something that I had to learn when I was in my playing days and I was down in South Africa. So down in South Africa, they've got this kikuyu grass that's really thick, wiry, sticky, and requires a lot of force to get through, but you don't want that ball to go too fast. So you need that speed, but you really need to maintain loft. So basically what it is, is we get the shaft leaning this way. So actually the handle is behind the ball. So you can't use this shot when the grass is tight on tight lies like the fairway, but certainly when you've got a bit of fluff, you can get under the ball, this is a shot you can use. 
So I'm just going to show you. So you actually put the ball a bit further forward in the start. You can see it's on my left foot. And I'm going to sit my hands behind the ball. So if I turn effectively doing this, the ball should just pop up. You can see it didn't go very far at all. So one advantage of this shot is that you're really maximizing the bounce of that club there. So you can see you're really increasing the bounce. And with that strike there, it got through the grass, the club bounced really well, and it sent it under the ball, and the ball just went up rather than forward. So it's something to experiment with around the greens, but certainly not one to bring out on your weekend medal on a Saturday. In terms of knowing what's going to be the right shaft lean for your game, what I would advise is that you start in neutral. So with our standard setup, I'll expect to see the hands slightly forward, so they're slightly in front of the head, and then you're just going to start with some basic chip shots with good rotation, trying to maintain those angles. So once you get confident doing this and you're striking the ball well, then really start experimenting with those different shaft leans. And you'll be surprised how effective you can be at maintaining that good strike and really changing that ball flight. As I promised, this is how you can win a free online lesson with myself. So all you've got to do is you've got to subscribe to my channel, make sure you like this video, and then in the comments section below, type the word lesson. So everyone who does that will be entered into a prize draw, and then in a week, I'm going to announce who the winner will be. Thanks for watching this edition of Shakespeare Short Game Secrets. I hope you found it useful. Any other comments, please put them below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for further short game tips.